We'll look at a few more problems from your review. Number 11, you are adding fractions on this one. Remember to add fractions you have to have a common denominator. So we want to pick the smallest number that both 4 and 12 will divide into. I always test the 12. Will the other one divide into it? Will 4 go into 12 evenly? It will. So we can use a 12. So our LCD, least common denominator, will be 12. That means we have to work on the first fraction. We want to turn this into a 12. So if we multiply by 3 on the denominator, that would give us a 12. So you remember, you do the same thing to the numerator and denominator. I'm just going to bring down what I have. And I'm going to multiply by 3 to get my 12. If you do that to the denominator, do the same to the numerator. You're really multiplying by a special form of 1 here, which is always OK to do. So I have negative 9 over 12. The other fraction is good. It already has the 12. And now you have the common denominator. The rule is keep it. Combine your numerators. This is where you have to watch your signs. You have different signs. Subtract, sign of the larger. And this is going to reduce. You're still going to have negative because there's only one negative. They're both even. Common factor of 2. So 2 will go into 2 one time, and 2 into 12 will go 6. Our next problems are just testing subtraction of signed numbers. Um, I always teach people to subtract just by thinking of the subtract as the sign of the one after it. If you learned a different way, that's fine as long as you can do it correctly. So if we're thinking of it that way, this would be the sign of the 7, and the 4 is positive. Different signs. Subtract sine of the larger, so sine from the 7. On 13, any time you have minus a negative together or opposite of a negative, it turns into a plus. You should clean that up first. And now they're both positive, so they're going to add and keep the sign. 14, these are going to be like signs. Like signs add, keep the sign. 15 and 16 are both multiplication problems. So we will count the negatives, odd number of negatives, negative answer, even number of negatives, a positive answer. 15 is just a multiplication. That's what parentheses side by side mean. So we'll just go across. I'm going to ignore the signs for now. 2 times 3 is 6, times 1 is still 6, times 3 is 18. Now I'm going to count the negatives. 1, 2, that's even, so it will be a positive 18. 16 is a multiplication of decimals, so we have to also remember about decimals. Our sign is going to be negative because there's only one. Uh, to multiply decimals, you write vertically like old arithmetic. So 43.8 times 1.2, you write a line. Do plano multiplication. So 2 times 8 is 16, we'll carry. 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 is 7. 2 times 4 is 8. And then remember, you shift in. 1 times 8 is 8, and you also shift the same amount here. Uh, 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 4 is 4. Then you add 6. 15 will carry. 9 plus 3 is 12. Carry again will be 5. And then you count in your total digits after the decimal. There's 1, 2. That's what you need in your answer going towards the left. 1, 2 decimal goes here. Don't forget about your signs. You hate to do all this work and mess up the sign. Only one negative, odd, so it will be negative. Our next problem is a division of fractions. Remember to divide fractions, you're going to change it to multiplication and you're going to invert the divisor. Or you may have been taught multiply by the reciprocal. First fraction stays the same. We're going to change to multiplication and flip the second one over. Now you have multiplication. Remember on multiplication of fractions, this is where you can cancel on the diagonals if anything divides out. Uh, with 7 and 2, nothing does. Uh, on the other diagonal, you could divide by 3. 3 goes into both of those, so if I divide by 3, 3 into 3 will go 1 time, 3 into 12 will go 4, and now we'll multiply across. 7 times 1 is 7. 4 times 2 is 8. Don't forget about your signs. I only had one negative, 
with a multiplication that's odd so it will be a negative answer and it doesn't matter where you write that negative if you get it on top out in front or even on the bottom it's just one negative our next two problems are divisions we're just going to divide and count the signs so 4 into 12 will go 3 times this one has two negatives that's even so it is a positive number 19 um, this one, the 2 is smaller than the 10, so what we'll do instead is just reduce. We don't want to divide it out and get a negative. So it has a common factor of 2. 2 will go into 2 one time. 2 will go into 10 five times. For your signs, there's only one negative. That is odd, so it will be negative. It does not matter where you write the negative. You can put it on top, out in front, or even on the bottom, but it will just be one sign. Our next problem is to simplify and this is an order of operations question. This is one that I'm asked the most from this review sheet. Um, we have nested grouping symbols so we're going to start at the innermost set and work our way out. You don't really want to distribute here. Uh, save distribution in case these are not like terms so if you had 4 minus x then you would have to distribute. If it's numbers go ahead and do the math. So 4 minus 2 is going to give us a 2. Check around your parentheses before you take it off. There is no exponent, so that's okay. Right here you have a multiplication, so do something to show multiplication. We want to keep everything else. This is not a short problem when you first look at it. You know it's long, so it's going to take a little time. We are still in the brackets you would multiply before you subtract. So you're going to be here. 3 times 2 is 6. You still have the bracket until it's finished inside. Right. Now we'll finish in the bracket. 8 minus 6 is 2. To take the bracket off, check around it. There is no exponent, so you're good there. Right here you have a number right beside a bracket. That means multiplication, so make sure you show a multiplication. Right, so we took care of grouping symbols. There are no exponents. Level 3 is multiplication or division. Remember these have to go left to right. They're equal. They're on the same level. So you're required to do this division. 16 divided by 2 will give us 8. Then we can do the multiplication. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 7 will give us 23. Our next problem is also an order of operations problem. It has a nested grouping symbol, so we're going to start at the innermost set. 12 minus 20, or 12 and a negative 20, is going to give us a negative 8. There's no exponent and there's nothing right outside the parentheses, so that can come off, but do not drop your bracket. Most common error is dropping the bracket too soon. Now we'll work in the bracket. Different signs. Subtract sign of the larger. So that will give us 10. Check around the bracket. There is no exponent, so you're okay there. Right here, the 4 is right beside it. That means multiplication, so we'll keep that. Next level is exponents. This is where I think people might get caught on this problem. You have to know whether or not the negative goes to the power. It does in this problem because originally you have parentheses, so everything is part of the base. It means to do negative 3 times negative 3, which gives you a positive 9. Okay. Level 3, multiplication or division. So you're going over here, 4 times 10 is 40, plus your 9, and now we will have 49. We'll do one more problem on this uh, video. Um, order of operations again and this one has a vertical piece. Um, you want to go ahead and clean that vertical piece up down to one number if it will. So we're just kind of going to go right here. Remember these are rule breakers and it's understood that the numerator would have parentheses and the denominator. So you're going to do the numerator first. 15 minus 1 is 14. Then do the denominator. 
We have an exponent there, so 2 to the third will be 8. Minus 1 will give us 7. And then go ahead and see if it will divide. 7 into 14 will divide evenly, gives you a 2. If it did not, it would be a harder problem because you'd have to deal with fractions. But it does divide evenly. And now we're actually down to level 4, which is add or subtract left to right. So you do have to go straight across, which gives us 12 plus 7, 19.